Very much a dog who suffered horrible abuse for years found a voice outside a local courtroom today. Jeremy Shane Temple is accused of leaving Joseph the German Shepherd chained outside for years. Earlier this year, rescuers found Joseph sick and starving, and he's still recovering. And this afternoon, a judge ordered Temple to go to jail. Local 12 News reporter Rich Jaffe has been following this story since Joseph was rescued, and he joins us now live with more on what Temple faced both inside and outside the courtroom. Rich? Cami, this story has generated international outrage. Responses coming from as far away as Southeast Asia. Animal rights supporters are hoping that Joseph's plight will help them change the laws in Ohio so that animal abuse becomes a felony. More than 50 people showed up to protest in front of the Middletown Municipal Court today. They were here in support of the abused, neglected German shepherd known as Joseph. Why the special outfit? People love it. People love animals in Butler County, and they love Scooby, and if Scooby can help, then here we are. In September, Joseph was rescued from the Middletown home where he'd been starved and chained to a tree for as long as four years. With Joseph as the focal point, supporters have gotten more than 33,000 signatures from around the world on a petition to change Ohio's animal abuse law to a felony. That petition was presented to the judge today. In foster care now... Joseph is doing very well. He still has his issues with his ears. He has to go to the vet three times a week at least. Um, he hasn't even started his, war his uh, heartworm treatment yet. And from what I understand, that is extremely extensive and it's just going to be miserable on him. In court, Jeremy Shane Temple, Joseph's previous owner, pled no contest and was found guilty to his three charges, saying he didn't realize the dog's condition had gotten that bad and that he thought it was just his seasonal pattern. Temple was sentenced to court costs, fines, and jail time. And we were there as he quietly walked out of the court. Tell me, tell me what happened with this dog that he ended up in that kind of condition. You have anything to say? Is there anything you want these people to know? Now, Temple's entire sentence includes more than $3,700 in vet bills, $10 plus costs for having an unlicensed dog, $150 in fines for the animal cruelty, and as well as court costs for that. And the most interesting part of all this is he was sentenced to a 90-day jail term. 85 of those days were suspended, so he will actually serve a very real five days starting next week. And while a lot of people might say, oh, he just got five days in jail, the reality of that is that jail time on animal cases is very, very unusual, and that in itself should send quite a message on this case. In Middletown, Rich Jaffe, Local 12 News. Cami? All right, Rich, thank you. And while the vet bills for Joseph are more than $3,700, they're projected to go over $5,000. The judge cautioned Temple that he could expect civil lawsuits for the damages.